So in the first video, we looked at uh, PC boards. In the second video, we took a look at uh, the Gerber files. And now we'll take a look at the program that generates the Gerber files. That's the way you should look at it. This is the layout program, but it's the program that generates the, uh, the Gerber files. So here's PC board. And if you look over in layers, this is KiCad. Um, over on the right here, it shows layers. And if you notice, all of those layers are sort of the ones that we're used to. Uh, front copper, back copper, front adhesive, back adhesive. Those are ones that we're not going to use. We'll turn those off. Okay. Front paste and back paste, that's for surface mount stuff. Surface mount stuff, you can have a little area where it, the solder paste is applied, but sometimes they actually use an adhesive to glue down parts. So that's what those other ones were. We do use the silk screens um, and we use the solder masks. Uh, there are other layers you can use for your CAD work for comments and things, user things. The edges it cuts, we use that, that's the perimeter. We'll look at that. Um, and this one has two, it has edge cuts and it has margins. So that's kind of weird. And then these things we don't ever care about. We're just going to turn those off because this, they're just not part of what we're going to be doing. All right. So there we go. So let's take a look at, um, the just the copper layer so we'll turn everything off and we'll just turn them back on one by one okay so here is the front copper and this is should be an exact match for the gerber file that's going to be used to generate the front copper okay and this is the back copper and this should look familiar this should be the same as the thing that we saw for the back copper um we can go to the silk screen these are just the things that we print on the top okay and there's nothing on the bottom. Um, and we can take a look at the edges. So here it's just a square board. So it just shows the size of the board. And this is where it's going to route it out. All right. So if we um, think when we're laying out the board, we're thinking of, yeah, these are the layers that we're going to generate. Okay. So a lot of times when I lay out a PC board, there's a lot of confusion here, right? And if I'm just worried about where do the traces go, well, I don't care about silk screens, so I'm going to turn those off. Well, here, let me just turn everything off, okay? Hide all layers. So what do I really care about? Well, if I'm laying out the front, uh, just, just the front, this is what I care about, right? And sometimes even the uh, copper section here that I'm being being used as ground, I can turn that off over here on the side. I can just say, okay, here is just kind of what I care about, right? And I looked, I can look to see if anything is stupid or not. And I can say, oh, well, this route's kind of dumb, okay? Maybe uh, I should highlight that and get rid of it. And now I, there's a shorter path, right? And I can... Uh, I can say, okay, there's a shorter path, so let me, let me just go ahead and take that, right? Let me just go down here, go down to here, and maybe, maybe, maybe this is a better route than the one that went all the way around. And it's easier to see if I'm just looking at the one layer, right? I could do the same thing with the bottom layer. Uh, I could say, here's the bottom layer. Am I doing any, anything dumb, right? And you can look and you can say, no, nah, yeah. But this is kind of like kind of weird here, right? I might want to clean that up. Oh, here's a little funniness. Here's a little funniness here. Maybe I can uh, let me uh, highlight that. Maybe, ah, I hate cut again. Um, maybe yeah, there you go. I can kind of wiggle it around and make it look better. So there, I fixed that up, and that was easy to see because I had turned everything else, and I'm looking at just this layer. Oh, here's some funny business here. You know, is that really? Um, it's re really the right way I want to be doing this. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe this looks better, right? Or maybe these are good. Maybe they're not good. I, I actually do like these, but um, um, it, it, it's good to see. And then you can say, okay, well, I'm really happy with all of the copper, right? Um, but what about the silk screen? Uh, what is it that I want to actually see on the board? And maybe I'll turn on the, the uh, edge cuts too, because that shows me the outside of the board. So maybe this is a good thing. So sometimes when you have like uh, all, another layer on, it's really confusing to see what's going to be going on here. And here, it's very, very easy. Oh, yeah, I can read everything here. This is, this is pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, and uh, so treat 
each layer separately. I guess that's the takeaway. Every single layer is, is there for a different reason, right? Or I can uh, say, okay, really what I'm interested in is the uh, solder mask, okay? So these are all the areas where the solder mask will be exposed. This is, this is what's available, okay? Um, and you can see I've got, oh, what's that little, what's that little thing there? And I can turn the copper on and I can say, um, oh, that's a via. So my file is actually exposing, it's not tenting the vias, it's actually exposing the via. So that's the default for this particular setting. And you can make all kinds of settings in your files and stuff. But here I was able to use, just looking at the mask layer, ah, do I have vias turned on or off? And I can just see them immediately here. And maybe, maybe you'll see maybe one's in an awkward place or maybe you can say, ah, that's actually something interesting. Let me turn on the, um, let me turn on the silk screen, and oh, it's right there around that ten. Oh, that's not good. Let me just kind of move that out of the way, right? I'm gonna move move that over, and then maybe I'll label this as a test point. I'll put it, you know, put some text here. I'll say, you know, TP, TP, uh, TP one, right? Well, what layer do I want to do right now? The layers is what's active. If I start doing an operation, it's going to end up on the copper layer. But what, what operation do I want to do? Well, I want to put something on the silk screen layer. So I have to make sure that I go down and say, okay, front silk screen. And now when I hit front silk, front silk screen and I add text, you can see here, right, right here, it says, ah, oh, you're on layer front silk screen. And that's exactly where I want it. And I might put something like TP1 and I'd line it up. And uh, yeah, there you go. So it's a way to um, think about laying out differently than just throwing everything in the kitchen sink all, all together. It ends up ve being very, very confusing if you say uh, show all layers. And this is how this is how you lay out the board every day. Um, yeah, things things are just things are just totally getting in the way. Um, yeah, let's turn that let's turn that silk screen off. Oh, that's better. Let's turn off uh, you know the. Um, there's other things in here. The fab fab things get in the way. Um, there's advanced things of other layers that might be used. Uh, like I said, there's some advanced layers for surface mount things. There's some advanced layers for if you're having this board automatically made. There's pick and place robots, and those pick and place robots have a little grabber when they grab the parts, and there has to be room for that grabber. Otherwise, it bashes into parts and, and destroys things. And so there are keep out areas and there are fab things for robots. And there are a lot of things that you can put on these layers. And there's a whole bunch of user layers. So you can actually ask the PC board company to do something special for you. You can actually put it on a user layer. And then when you order the board, you can say, go look at user layer one. And it will tell you where I want to have a particular thing done. So you can kind of break the rules. You, you know, the Gerber files only get you, you know, 95% of the way there. But the last little bit, sometimes you actually have to instruct them to do to do things. Or sometimes they'll ask you, oh, what did you mean by this? Uh, did you, you know, um, it's very easy to make errors like uh, forgetting to include a, um, a margin, right? And uh, if I turn off the uh, edge cut here. Um, they'll not know where to route. They'll go, oh, we don't know how big your your board is. Or uh, maybe you have a, a right angle uh, so that there's a, a actual notch in the board. And they say, we can't do right angles. Our router bit, our smallest router bit has a diameter. And we can do that for you, but we can't do what you've drawn here. You've drawn a square cut. And they'll warn you. They'll say, hey, is that okay? And then you need to approve the drawing and stuff like that. Right. Anyway, um, the point of the video, though, is to get you used to um, thinking about the layers area here in your CAD program, as those are the layers that are going to be generating particular um, Gerber files for each layer. And then think of the PC board, how it's a stack of layers and, and stuff. So it's layers on top of layers on top of layers on top of layers. And that's that's really all there is to this uh, PC board stuff. Thank you.